at a slave farmhouse in Johnson County, Texas. Then five-year-old Lucy Elding Gonzalez heard several slaves singing in the early morning hours. We shall not be moved. A song she had heard many times before, but this time it resonated deep in her soul. In 1871, Lucy would marry Albert Parsons, a former Confederate soldier. They were among the first to marry across racial lines just after the Civil War. Just two years after their wedding, due to the intolerance from citizens to their interracial marriage, they fled from Texas, heading north to Chicago. Once there, they made their roots deep. Lucy and Albert, among others, had been heavily involved in campaigning for the eight-hour workday. On May 1st, 1886, Lucy, Albert, and their two children led 80,000 people down Michigan Avenue. It would be the first ever May Day parade to show support for the eight-hour workday. Lucy and Albert now believed, with the help of others, that the future for workers was starting to turn for the better. And all they worked for was happening in their lifetime. But all that would be short-lived. The song that slaves would sing in the early morning hours that resonated in a young Lucy Parsons soul was now once again awakened on February 11th, 2011 in Madison, Wisconsin. We shall not be moved just like a tree that's standing by the water. We shall not be moved.